Well, Jed, welcome back. Your second Thank debut you. for Yeovil Town and a clean sheet. How pleased are you with that? Oh, brilliant. It was you know, an overall good, good, solid team performance. Uh, defensively, obviously, the lads in front of me helped me out big time. Um, obviously, we've got the new Stevie came in as well. So, uh, yeah, there's three lads on the pitch. So I thought it was a good, good, good point. How much time did you have to learn names and learn about the, the players when you linked up with Yeovil? Uh, uh, well, I only linked up yesterday, so uh, I had an afternoon of trying to try to get to know everyone. But to be fair, it's a, it's a great group of lads. You know, they've welcomed me in big time. So, yeah, they've really helped. It's been good. And some good saves this afternoon. Have you got one in particular that you're particularly pleased with today? Uh, no, not not particularly. No, uh, any saves. You know, I'm pleased with just keeping the ball out the net. To be honest, but no, it, the lads, the lads are brilliant. So. Um, you know, and obviously without them, you know, it would be a much harder task. So, yeah, overall, really, good, really pleased. You're obviously Matt Sharp and having been a regular for Doncaster. What's it like switching one team for another in, in the same division in, in this manner? <laughs> and that's, it's great. I, obviously, I just want to play games. I want to play as many games as I can. So, I really had a really good time at Doncaster. Um, and as soon as I found out Yeovil you know, wanted to take me, I, I, I'm desperate to come. So, um, yeah, I'm obviously really pleased to be here. And hopefully we can pick a few more results up. So I guess the division won't have too many surprises for you. The teams you'll be playing for Yeovil will be most of the teams you've already played for Doncaster. Yeah, well, I've already played uh, Chesterfield with Doncaster, so uh, that was at home, though. So that was first time here. Um, but yeah, obviously I knew what, knew what they could do, obviously playing them already. So um, I just sort of let, them know, let the lads know little bits here and there. Um, but, but yeah, they, they, they were brilliant out there. So when you were with Yeovil before, you were a teenager you were with, with Norwich at that point, you're mm. now with Aston Villa. How has your career developed over the last few years away from Yeovil? Um, obviously, I was, I was lucky to, to move to Aston Villa with Paul Lambert. Um, obviously, last year I spent the year on the bench, um, which you know, obviously everyone wants to play football, so I was just waiting for my chance. Um, but I've, I've learned loads, it's been great training with Shay Given and Brad Guzan, I've learned so much off them. And you know, I've, I've obviously got older, and I'm, I've, I've come back here a man, not an 18 year old. You know, sort of a kid really so, um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to my three months here and, and looking to kick on and help the team up the league of course we'll be back at Hewish Park on Saturday I'm sure you've got good memories of playing before FA Cup home to Crawley looking forward to that one oh, I can't beat the FA Cup yeah FA, I'm re really looking forward to that so yeah obviously today was, uh, was something you know, we, can, we can build on today 0-0 nil -nil today good, good result good solid clean sheet so looking for Saturday to, to build on that and uh, yeah get, get a run of wins going